Hello, my name is Tino Dornelis from Kalima Windsurfing and Water Sports. I have a windsurfing, sailing, kayaking and stand-up paddling center in uh, Florida, in Merritt Island, close by Cape Canaveral. Today I will introduce you to a great board from Kona, uh, a stand-up paddle board. is the Molokai and is uh, 10 foot 7 and uh, 82 centimeters wide or 32 and a quarter wide. It's very stable, very wide. So you can do all sorts of uh, touring, uh, yoga, uh, just you know, learn to stand up paddle. It's a, a very stable design, fairly low rocker, so it's not like slow. It has a good glide uh, to, say, to paddle in uh, flat water. Um, it's a well-balanced board overall. When you, the, the handle, the carrying handle is right on the right spot, it's perfectly balanced. Um, and one of the cool things about this board too, it has a mast track so you can put a windsurfing rig on it and go windsurfing on it. Um, the other things that are interesting on this board are the uh, leash plugs on the front so you can do crisscross or bungees so you can put stuff on the front or even put a mat and uh, fix a mat on the front so then you can take your dog with you or your cat or your uh, favorite pet. Uh, has also a leash plug on the front so you can you know tie your uh, your stand-up paddle board. It, it, this is particularly important for uh, sailboats if you have a stand-up paddle board on a boat or on a sailboat it, it's a really good feature to have it uh, tethered to the boat and just uh, hang out there in the water uh, and also to pull it aboard too. It's uh, very convenient. Okay, uh, the other thing that is nice on this board is fairly thin. It's not super thick, so you're not corking around on a board that's wide. Uh, it, it, it lowers your center of gravity, so it gives you actually more stability than if you had a super thick board that's very crowned on a, on a, on a deck. Uh, the other features are on the back of the board. You have a very high quality uh, fin that uh, is made out of vinyl lester, so it's uh, more durable. And you adjust the position. Typically, if you want to go in the surf, you have it further forward. And if you want to do more directional cruise and have a board that's more directional, you move it further back on the board. The Kona Molokai is uh, built with premium construction. It's a sandwich construction and utilizes bamboo on the, on the deck. And it, the qualities of the bamboo are just give it a good springiness. Uh, so the board, when deflects, it comes back to shape very quickly. So, you know, you have a great ride and you have a stiff ride, but at the same time, uh, uh, just a compliant ride. So the, the bamboo construction is excellent on this board for that reason. We have also the uh, twin plugs, leash plugs on the back of the board. Uh, this is particularly useful in a surf and it's in larger waves uh, to have an extra uh, plug for the, uh, to attach the leash. Another good thing on the design of this board is it's got quite a bit of width here in the forward section of the board so it adds a lot of stability to the board while you're trying to paddle in more recreational paddle it gives you a, a whole lot more stability without needing to go very thick in the design. Uh, one of the things I really like about this board is the deck is very comfortable on your feet it's got full width deck and full length on, uh, on the board so you can really move around and again if you have a pet or if you have a child and, or someone that wants to paddle with you, you have plenty of room and plenty of grip in there. The shape on the board, it's got a soft rounded rail all the way throughout, front to back, uh, makes it a very forgiving and in the waves it just also makes it really nice to be able to uh, surf some small surf, great fun. Thank you.